Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. So in today's video, we're gonna be making 4th of July decorations and it's very quiet in my house because it's very rare that I'm ever here by myself and today I'm here alone. So I'm gonna try to get all of these projects done <laughs> without any interruptions. So we'll see how far we get. So our first project, we're gonna be using this metal star and we're gonna be using this pill and stick moss and I have these little bells and some twine. Turn my camera on over here and we'll get started. So this is actually my first time using this pill and stick moss. So I just started cutting it. I didn't measure precisely, but it doesn't matter. You don't have to have it perfectly cut on there. It pieces together really well. And it is very sticky. super easy to work with and whenever you have to use smaller pieces to fill in the spaces that are still showing just use your fingernail and press the seam and it makes it blend so well and you can't even tell that there are small pieces mixed in with it it looks like one sheet Okay, I think it's turned out so good. Okay, so I picked these two stars up at a garage sale. And over the years, this one has just been damaged and it has some like, um, some dents and dings all in it. So I wanted to do one of the bigger stars with the moss sheets as well. And I want a white star. And since this one is so dinged up and not in a cool way, I'm gonna cover this one with the moss and then I'm gonna actually paint this one white. And then now I'm gonna go get my twine and I'm gonna add some twine to this with some bells. You can spray an adhesive over the top of it to keep it from shedding every time you move it because it does kind of shed a little bit. It's not too bad. project I picked up these stars at the thrift store and I have these little metal like I don't know what you call them picture holders these metal picks 
And I went and found my husband's drill and I have some paint so I can paint these. And then I'm gonna drill a hole in the top of the stars and then add these. So pretty simple. Okay, so after I finished drilling the holes in the tops of the stars, I just took my picks and measured them out and trimmed them up, stuck them in the top of the stars and then did a little touch up on the green that was still showing. And now I just need to print out some pictures and put them in the tops. Okay, so for our next project, we're gonna be painting some baseballs. So I found these baseballs. <laughs> this one has a little face on it, and this one has a score written on it. And I thought I could do something fun with these and just paint them up for 4th of July. Okay, so first we're gonna start out with painting the blue part. So we're gonna paint this part blue. That's not my bad paint job. <laughs> That's the writing that was written on the ball. Next, I'm gonna put um, stars in the blue and then paint this part white. Show some love and hit that thumbs up button and the subscribe button. Okay, so now that the blue has dried, I'm gonna mix these two colors together. This is a beige and a white and paint this little strip. I did really good at mixing this color up. It's almost the exact same color that's on this ball. I just didn't want it to be stark white. So after I get this painted and it dries, we'll add the stars to the blue strip. <laughs> okay, so this is me forgetting how to draw a star. <laughs> and I had to practice. Just went back in and just kind of filled in the inside. And then added a bunch more. Okay, so now I'm gonna add some straps to this one. And I just added some old tape. It's very old, <laughs> not very sticky. Just to see if my lines, my straps would end up pretty evenly. So I can kind of see about where I need to put them. Okay, so I decided to go back and add some more straps in there because it just didn't look like enough. So I added a few more. Okay, so for our next project, I have these wooden stars and they're very plain. So I thought I could do something to them to make them look a little better. And I have these napkins. So I thought I could just decoupage the napkins onto these stars, but I don't want them to be the stark white. I want them to look a little more aged. So I'm gonna paint some coffee onto them, and then I'm gonna burn the edges to make them look very worn.
So I've never done this technique before on the napkins using the coffee. I'm extremely tired because I got up at 4.30 this morning, had to be somewhere, and I needed some coffee. So I was like, good reason to make coffee so I could use some of my coffee and color my napkins. So we'll see how this turns out. I'm gonna let this dry and then we'll decoupage them onto the stars. Okay, so here's the before and here's the coffee stained napkin. It would still look pretty just to decoupage this napkin onto the stars if you prefer to have the bright red, white, and blue. I just wanted it to have more of an aged look. So that's what I'm going for this year. So this one, the backing has already come off. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull the, the back off this. I think for this one, I just want the stars on it and not the straps. So we're gonna see how that looks. Okay, so it looks like that. I purposely didn't cut it all the way to the star and I'll show you why. Okay, so the next step is you'll need a lighter. made it around. I love how that works. And you can go around if there's any spots. And then once this dries completely, I will go over the top with another coat of Mod Podge and just seal it. I'm gonna do the red star. Okay, and so for this one, I'm gonna use this pattern. This technique is just a lot better than trying to get it so perfect yourself by cutting it. Sometimes it's not that easy, and this way it just makes it perfect to the edge, and it's just so fun. Okay, so I would cut it as close to the star as possible so that you don't have such a mess when it burns off. And see, even when you try to cut it close, it still looks like, like a little messy, but this makes it completely perfect to the edge. Okay, now for the fun part. For our last one, I have this napkin. No, I'm not loving this one. Let's use this one. Just figure it out as we go along. Perfect. Okay, let's get some Mod Podge on here. Okay, so for my next project, I wanted to use these spindles that I picked up from Home Depot. I thought they would be perfect for fireworks. I was wanting to cut them here, so each one would make three different ones. And they were $3 a piece, so not bad. And it makes nine fireworks. I'm gonna go get something to cut these with, and I will be right back. Okay, so I ended up using a jigsaw to cut my wood pieces. I had requested, like a million years ago, a bunch of tools for I think it was like my birthday or Christmas or something. And I used them a long time ago to cut out yard art. I cut out an Easter bunny and painted it. So I already had this on hand. So I just used this to get all my pieces cut. So when I 
had this idea of using spindles to make these fireworks. Of course, I looked on Pinterest, looked, I Googled it, I looked on Etsy, because usually when you have an idea, five million other people have already had that idea, and they've already done it and posted it, and I didn't see any. I see people using wood pieces, but not like this, so that's pretty cool. It's really hard to find something that a million other people haven't already beat you to it. And of course, whenever you're using fire or doing anything with uh, a water, just be extremely careful. So next I'm gonna take some sandpaper and just kind of rough them up. I'm just kind of like dabbing some brown paint on them. I want them to look kind of worn and tattered. Tattered? What's the word? I want them to look old and tattered. So just kind of going over it with just dry brushing some brown and tan paint on them. Okay, so comment down below. Do you like this vintage look or would you rather it be the bright red, white, and blue? I think it would look good both ways, but this year I just wanted to go for this look. So I did a lot of things like vintage and old looking. I have done the brighter colors before, so I do like both of them. Thought I would do something different this year. So I went for the old vintage look. Okay, so here's how it's looking so far and i'm loving it it looks so old exactly how i wanted it to look and i just wing it and do it as i go along so i never know what the outcome is actually gonna be if it's gonna be a fail or if, it's, if i'm gonna love it and i love these i was gonna originally paint these but i love that technique so much with burning the edges it, it worked so good on my stars i thought well i'll just try it and i love it let me know down in the comments what you think. Okay, so next we're just gonna be adding our wicks to the tops. So I'm just gonna take some twine and double knot it. I'm just gonna cut it right underneath the knot. Okay, and so now we're just gonna glue it to the top. and there you go and I absolutely love how they turn out <laughs> just kidding okay so be sure to peel the backing off of your napkins because it will not work well it didn't work for me anyway because I made one and I thought the backing was off the napkin but it wasn't and this is what happened <laughs> So the backing stuck to it, but the front of the napkin did not. Um, but actually, when I started peeling it off and sanding it back down, this happened. And I was like, well, that looks pretty cool to me. So maybe I can figure out something and make it look like this all over. Kind of think that looks cool. Be sure to pull the backing off of your napkins because it will not work. So for this one, I'm gonna be painting the ends of the wood piece and then putting the napkin in the center. So I thought that would look really good. And I like this one because it looks like those party poppers that are uh, tied on each end. That's what it made me think of. I'm gonna be using this really old paint. <laughs> it's a deep burgundy color and a beige color. Okay, so I'm just gonna take this old brush and add some watered down brown paint to the ends of this and then take a napkin and wipe it off. I'll take a little more and go around the edges and around the top. So 
So from this to this. Okay, now we're going to add our napkin. Okay, I uh, added my Mod Podge. Now we're just going to add our napkin. Okay, now we're going to burn the edges. Okay, here's how it looks. So after decoupaging the paper on, I just took a little bit of sandpaper and just roughed it up, took my old paintbrush, and then just added some brown paint and some tan paint to it, just kind of wherever I thought it needed it to give it this vintage look. So I did one with red and then decided to do one with blue. Okay, so I picked these up from Hobby Lobby years ago. They were like on clearance and they have a hole in the bottom of them, but they didn't come with anything. So I originally just bought um, a little glass piece that fit down into the little hole and used them, but I'm kind of tired of this print. So I decided to paint them and change them up a bit. So now we're gonna paint. I'm just gonna use some white. Okay, and now we're just gonna knot our rope. Left it frayed on the ends and then we're going to hot glue it to the top. Okay, so I'm just going to sand it down a little bit. So if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and the subscribe button.